I am standing next to my Jackson Nar. Um, there's been a couple of videos put out so far about this boat. Um, I'm probably going to be one of the first maybe two or three that have it fully rigged and, and tournament ready and that's what I'm going to go over today. It's going to be a quick overview. If you guys have questions on stuff, I will absolutely answer them. So definitely leave any questions you have in the comments um, in reference to anything you might see on this boat that I didn't cover. I will try to be as responsive as I can be to get those answered for you. Um, so I'm just going to turn the camera around and let you guys check out and see what we did. Starting up here at the bow. So obviously the molded in handle is great. Um, we put the Garmin GPS puck from, I mean, I transferred most of everything over from the Hobie, but the Garmin GPS puck came directly over. Uh, I run my anchor wizard line down through the handle. I, I'm going to do that the same way I did it on the Predator PDL. I'll get to the anchor wizard back here in a second, but I also run the line through one of these tie downs just as like a kind of keeping it in line in track so it's not moving all around not going over inside the hole yet because this is not finished I want to make that clear inside of there is a little bit of a train wreck by my standards um, and I don't have that completely settled yet so we're not going over that but I did add a handle so you can lift it up um, you know if you're if you need to reach up there and get something so that is added there and you can see I ran three of the Yak Attack through hole adapters for my fish finder. I got the Garmin 106 SV Ultra and I put the Burley Pro on that. But everything for my pan optics and my GPS NEMEA network and all that runs down through those areas. And my net, gonna put that back where it belongs. So this little guy right here is the homemade spotlight that I made using some Yak Attack products. Just a couple, or yeah, a couple right angle adapters and a four inch extension on a lock and load base. And then I wired the, the spotlight up to fit into the Yak Power system, which I have a plug down there for it on the opposite side of my rods there. So that works out great for whenever we launch early in the morning and it's dark. I can see what's in front of me, you know, so on and so forth. Um, on my net, I have a net cam, which that's kind of a fun angle to get shots from. Um, I'm actually using the camera from the net cam to do this video, but that would normally go in there. In these Get GoPro Hero sessions, they're easy to take in and out, so um, that's why I opted for that camera to be there. You can see the foot control steering is run there, and you can see here. It runs into that flat recessed area there that Jackson made for this. So that's really nice that they have that. Uh, I have down here a Navare kayak fishing transducer scupper kit. Uh, that was pretty easy and seamless to run my transducer. That is a GT56 transducer from Garmin. Uh, the reason I, I go with that one is it's better uh, better side scan. You can see up here, I have this silver bar running across there. That's an innovative sportsman special. If you want something like that, you can contact Trey Leach and he can um, probably make it for you and send it to you. I don't know how much it costs. So, you know, it's one of those things that would be like a special order, I believe, because I don't think he has a SKU for that. Obviously, I have my Garmin set up on two Yak Attack lock and load bases. And what's important about these is I took the extension off of there because it was just a little bit too high. This is the Gar or I'm sorry, this is the Yak Attack fish finder mount, the, the rectangular universal fish finder mount. And all I did was take the four, in four inch extensions out of there just so it's at the right height. What you see here is a camera mount. It's the Yak Attack Panfish Pro. This is designed to be removable. This is honestly for taking steel shots. That's not for any kind of, you know, um, recording while fishing because as you can tell, that would really block the view of the fish finder. This is more or less intros, outros, and taking photos of me holding fish. And again, I'll be doing it with the camera that I'm using right now from the net, 
will be the camera that I primarily use for that because it's easy to just move in and out. So, but for now, that's going to be there. It's on a lock and load base because Jackson put that track right there. So, it makes it easy to take on and off. So, underneath the seat, well, first, the seat, you can see that I fixed that issue of the seat kicking up by just putting a couple straps on there to keep it down. Um, that's worked. Underneath the seat will be some tackle storage, maybe for like a bigger Plano box. And then I'll also put two Torquedo batteries under there. And I'll store my catch board underneath of there as well. Um, you can see on the pedals, I definitely wanted to switch out the pedals. I, don't, I didn't like the shape of the Garmin pedals. These ones fit me for what I'm trying to do a little bit better. And I have one side with spikes and one side without. That way if I'm barefoot fishing, I can just put my feet on there. Um, but if I'm you know, fishing with my Crocs because Crocs are life, then I'll go with that side. Up here, we have two kayak cushions. And these things are amazing. I can't say enough good things about kayak cushion. Not sponsored by them, but it's a product that I will gladly pay for for the rest of my life because I don't care if they would sponsor me or not. I need it, they're worth it. So down here on the track, you can see that I have a one inch ram ball that is likely going to be coming off of there because what I was going to use it for was to keep the rods tight I don't think I'm gonna to need to do that now but it's still in the trial process with that I have a t-rain with my pliers I do want to get some sort of um, system to attach the pliers in there so they're not banging around and travel right here back by my elbow I have my throttle control and down here I have my reverse lock for my Torquedo um, and then I also have the three rods stored on that side. I put a Yak Tech cup holder there because you can never have enough places to put baits that you've used before you put them back in the tackle box. So I have one of those on each side. Um, back here I have the Jackson storage bin that they send with the NAR that comes with the purchase of the NAR. That's a cool little bin because you can put a bunch of stuff in there. Right now I have some baits and some tools in it and then I also have a couple little lanyards for uh, different stuff I have a um, cow coast donkey leash but and then that closes and closes up just like that then it's it's not gonna come open you can see I have a lock and load base here that's more or less if I just want to change something or if I want to take that camera off the front to put on the rear while it's not in use I can just throw it there and it'll stay put on each side I have my paddle stored very similar to how you would still store it on the pro angler but I just did it using some yak attack roto grips and the clips that come for them back here I have my my torpedo I have the bulletproof innovative sportsman steering triangle the innovative sportsman rock guard and when I'm on the water and not in travel this comes up and and gets tucked away so it doesn't get in the operation of the motor or the rudder but mounts on there real nice and then on each side Jackson made these little raised up areas where you can do the foot control steering those are fantastic um, those are solid too I want to point out that those are solid plastic in there so you're not just you know there's no chance of this area right here failing because it is solid plastic when we drilled through that um, it was pretty beefy to get through what I do think I might do because right now I don't have these connected to the motor but what I think I might do is put two metal pad eyes here just to kind of give the the steering lines a place to so they're not getting off track and hung up in any of these crevices or anything like that that is something that I might do just because of that not coming very far back I understand why they put it up there but I think for me I'm gonna put a uh, a metal pad eye here and a metal pad eye on the other side to keep the steering lines in track again on this side I have my paddle you can see here that I have my black pack pro strapped down with some straps and I have those attached to some black pack or I'm sorry to some yak attack eyelets and then I have my camera mount and this is on one of the heavy duty lock and load bases um, this is a rather long long camera pole as you can see so with it being such a long and kind of 
heavy piece of equipment. I wanted it to have a sturdy base and that's why I used that type of base. It's the same base that I used on both fish finders. That's important so you don't get a lot of wobble in the camera. I got my other cup holder over here. I got the cup holder that Jackson came with it. I don't know if I'm going to keep that there. I don't know if I'm even going to use it. Um, but like I said, you can never really have enough of those. So um, here I have my pan optics. Right now it's set up and rigged on the same setup that I've been using since 2019 whenever I first put pan optics on my first kayak. Um, it's basically tried and true, I, I, but I do want to change it. So that's something that I'm gonna do and I'm not sure exactly with what I'm gonna change it out to, but yeah. So that's how that's set up. It's on a one and a half inch ram ball to a claw grip. And then up here I have it mounted and locked in on a four inch extension with a rotor grip and a clip to keep it in you know stay put in travel real quick before i forget and before we move forward down there you can see behind the rod tips i have another yak attack or i'm sorry i have another yak power power port and then we ran the pan optics in there with a hobie through hole adapter it's one of the three three spot ones because I feel like that fit pretty well for my pan optics. Uh, another T-Rain over here and another lock and load base. I have also another one inch ball to hold those tight. Again, I don't think I'm going to need to do that. For my long camera mount in the front, I have it on another one of the heavy duty lock and load bases. And what's really awesome about this boat and this is something that needs to be noted. This tri-track runs the whole length of the boat and it is amazing for rigging. I had to drill into this boat four times to run the foot controlled steering and in those four areas where I drilled it was an area that was intended to drill into. Up here, same situation, Yak, um, Jackson actually supplies you with two yak attack through hole adapters. So those are designed for you to run your fish finders wherever you want to. They don't come pre-placed from the factory. They give you the ability, the option to mount them and put them wherever you want to put them. And that's, that's an important aspect because not everybody wants to mount their stuff in the same place. And on my pro angler, I had to add those to the front because they weren't there. On the pro angler, they were on the sides about right there which works out well for people who want to put their fish finders beside them but I primarily fish for river smallmouth and that's an issue whenever you have stuff to the side of you while you're trying to land a river smallmouth so but yeah that's my gnar it's got some yak yak power lights on there I only did the front nav lights I didn't do the full 360 degree lights because I have the yak attack visit Visa Carbon Pro that is my 360 light and you know that works well for me but that's the overview of my boat there's gonna be very minimal things that change um, I'm pretty excited pretty happy about it put my deal up there but yeah that's it that's what it is when I have an updated um, view of the inside of here once this is complete I will come back and, and, and add that on to the internal guts of the boat. But I hope that you all like what I did. If you have any questions at all or anything that you saw that you might want to ask me about, by all means, just shoot me a comment or contact me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to take a look at you know whatever your questions are. So thanks for watching. And you know another thing too, if you feel that my content has earned your subscription because that's my goal is to get you guys to subscribe and watch my stuff if you think I've earned it please hit that subscribe button it's important to me it's important to the channel and I appreciate it thanks for watching